Hi everyone, Lorraine Smith here, Tourmaline and Time Quilts. I'm going to share my adventure today with you um, on freezer paper um, foundations. So I have taped together very carefully the foundation from my um, vertical gardens um, pattern here. And you can see, you know, the big thing being matching your registration lines up here and making sure that everything works. Now, I could print this the umpteen times. I believe I have 25 different um, blocks with this. But rather than 25 blocks, I'm gonna copy it once and we'll see how long this one lasts. Um, I might have to copy it a second time because sometimes they start running out of stick by the end of the uh, 20th. But um, what I'm gonna find here is I'm gonna just start tracing the lines and um, you'll see how this goes here. And I'm just using a, you know, a number two pencil that I've kind of sort of sharpened and um, making sure that I'm tracing exactly on the lines um, using my straight edge here to make sure that all goes well. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna fast forward this so that you can see everything as I get it done and then we'll show you how to use it. we're back again so I've taken my lovely piece here of freezer paper and I have fused as you can see the um, single piece for my A1 down here Oops, and it's still fused down there so I folded on my line I am going to cut um, a quarter inch away removing my little bit of extra here and now I'm going to take my next piece, I'm going to place it underneath and line it up kind of nicely, um, knowing that as long as my bottom piece here, so center this way, so knowing that as long as my bottom piece here lines up when it folds, it should work out okay. All right, so I'm going to make sure that I line my pieces up here side by side, and I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and sew these two pieces together. Um, and when I sew them together, I'm going to make sure that I'm sewing right along the edge here. Um, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back here. So I have put together my seam here. So the next thing I'm going to do is bring this back over to my iron. And I'm going to press this, making sure that this edge is right here. Okay, and I'm going to press this over like so. Okay, and that'll leave my seam right against that, and then I can trim up my edges as we go. Um, so I'm gonna fuse this back down, and when you're doing the fusing with your iron, you wanna make sure that you're using an, you know, a relatively hot setting and dry. Um, it'll, it'll fuse better while it's dry. So we're gonna trim up this, and then we're going to move to this next piece over here. Um, and we'll move sequentially so that you'll see how the pieces get added. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, I just fused it back down. Um, now I'm going to trim up this little bit right here um, so that I get rid of some excess because it'll just be in the way. And now I'm going to fold on my next line. And for those of you watching carefully, you'll notice I did three before two, which in this case doesn't make any doesn't matter. But usually you want to do them in order. Now the beauty is because I traced this, some of the ink went back down on this, which makes it a little easier to follow. Okay, I'm gonna move this over just a smidge and fold that up. Yep, that's what we need. And so now I'm going to move this around. Do the same thing on this side, which is trim over on this side. Okay, and now we're going to add this next piece. Um, and this next piece is going to go against here. Um, so we're gonna put this piece right here. And we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're just gonna sew light right around the edge and then fuse it open. Okay, so here we are. So I just sewed this on here, um, sewing right against the edge of that seam. And I'm gonna fold it open. And you can see this is really, it's starting to take shape. So now I'm going to press this right here and then I will trim for my next piece. Okay, so we're back again. 
Now I'm going to trim this little edge off here, which is the one I just trimmed, put on. Okay, and you'll see. There we are. Isn't that nice and pretty? Now we've got to do our next fold. Now our next fold is going to be here between A2 and A3 onto A4. So we're just going to follow the numbers here. So this is A4. I'm going to get back a little. Peel it off a little bit here. Okay. And so we need to cut right here along A4, which is this line right here. Okay. Just so you know. See, there's my A4 line. A little bit along that. And now we're going to trim this. Now after you do the first one, the, the, the fold lines are pretty well set for you. I'm going to trim this up right here. There we go. Trim this excess off. Okay. And now we'll put this next piece on right here for what is my A4. Okay, so now we've got our A4 ready. And we are going to, as you can see, we're going to put this underneath here. Okay, make sure you're, you know, if you're dealing with something other than the teeth, your right sides are always together. And now I'm going to sew these together. Now on this one, I'm going to make sure the points at this end match because it's the outside of my block. Um, and I know that when it flips, it should flip out so that um, it will be long enough. Okay, we're going to sew this together. All right, we're going to take back here so you can see we've sewn this piece on. You can give it a nice little press here, um, and I'm going to use my iron to just kind of press it down nicely here, um, and it makes sure that, you know, when, you always want to cover and make sure that, you know, when you flip it over and you can kind of see through the light. Um, but this is my next line, and you want to make sure that it extends past that. So I've got probably another good inch on here. I did cut these quite generously, um, just because I hate having to redo seams. So here we go, so this one's in. So now I'm going to put on A5 next, after I trim this up. So let's trim this, and then we'll add A5. So we'll fold it back here. And so I sometimes will put my fingernail right there, so I know where I'm going to fold to. And then we can match this up on the other end. Right here, again, put my fingernail there. Um, if you really want to be special um, and not have to work so hard, you can always add this here um, and fold it along like this. Um, as you can see, then you know you've got it exactly in the line. Um, so it's another way to do it. So now we're going to trim this up again, quarter of an inch off. And you see, I don't have a special ruler. Um, you can get the add a quarter rulers. I'm just using my standard ruler. Um, to make it just a little easy on me. Okay, so we have some little extra tidbits here. I'll put those off to the side. And now I can add this next piece here. And just so you know how it's looking. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we're going to move on to the next piece.